All right, so this is our path today. everybody as you might be able to deduce we are not in the van at the moment <laughs> we're back at silver spring state park this morning we're going to do the little loop that goes around closest to the park uh hoping to see well we actually saw a manatee already but it was just as we were getting in the water with the kayak so we didn't get it on camera but she's not talking about me either <laughs> so we're hoping to see some manatees maybe maybe monkeys someone else did this loop this morning so they didn't see any but there have been some seen here so we're hoping but anyway, it's beautiful, and we're going to show you what we see above and under the water again. This is awesome, for sure. It's beautiful, and it's nice because the current's not too strong, so we can just really enjoy where we are. A little bit better, I think, than Ichituckney, right? It just, I mean, Ichituckney was nice, but because the current was so strong, we couldn't really relax as much. This is perfect. Oh, get get footage underwater of that. This is a happy bird. I think he's almost as happy as us out here. I love this. It's amazing what you can see under the water. The Fort King Paddling Trail is a 1.1 mile round trip loop around Ross Allen Island. It's $4 to launch here plus the $2 per person park admission fee. You can also opt to paddle 5 miles from the main entrance canoe and kayak launch to the boat launch at Ray Wayside County Park and get shuttle service back, but additional fees apply. We thought that might be a little too much with our inflatable kayak. We loved paddling around this spot. There were so many turtles and other wildlife, and as we floated along, we kept our eyes peeled for the wild rhesus monkeys. Here you can spot a structure from when the location was a commercial attraction prior to becoming a state park. This is a recreation of Fort King, a fort built during the Seminole Wars in the 1800s. Look, there's a little gator next to the log. We've been told there are monkeys up here. Hopefully we'll see some of them. There's a little crowd of people trying to see them. After paddling around for a little while, we finally spotted monkeys. We heard excitement from other paddlers and could quickly tell what they had found. According to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission website, 
In the 1930s, the manager of a glass-bottom boat operation reportedly released six rhesus monkeys on an island in the Silver River to attract tourists to his boat tours. He didn't realize they could swim, and the monkeys swam to the surrounding forest and increased their numbers rapidly. As the popularity of these monkeys grew among tourists, the owner of Silver Springs Park released an additional six monkeys around 1948 on the north shore of the river in another attempt to boost revenue. Since then, the population of the monkeys in the Silver Springs area and lands adjoining the Ocklawaha River have grown to upwards of 400 individuals at times. It's important to note that these monkeys can be aggressive, and they are also known to carry the potential deadly herpes B virus. We were very careful to keep our distance as there had been occurrences of monkeys jumping down onto boats. I had three shooting assignments down here. I'm from Jersey. Oh, okay. Okay. And a friend of mine goes, you gotta go see the monkeys. Yeah. I said, what monkeys? <laughs> it's so crazy that they just stay in this area, too. Yeah. They got it good, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at them. Yeah. Well, that was spectacular. I really did not think we were going to see monkeys today. I thought we were going to have to do the longer trail, which we knew we weren't going to do today. That was awesome. And there were so many and babies. It was really hard to get footage and pictures since like the, the current moves and we kept having to paddle back and forth to try to stay in place. Hopefully, Hopefully our photography will do it justice because that was really cool. It was really neat. There were so many babies and then some of them were kind of fighting. Um, one of them had a decaying stick and was eating the bugs out of it. Uh, we saw a couple eating. I don't know. That, it was just incredible. So awesome. That was really cool. I know they're uh, not native to this area, but it was quite a treat. The park offers glass bottom boat tours, claimed to be Florida's oldest attraction. The glass bottom boat was reportedly invented here in the late 1800s. The boats showcase the crystal clear springs and the underwater life that naturally inhibits Silver Springs. 30 minute tours are $13 a person. We wrapped up this amazing kayaking adventure near the starting place for the glass bottom boat tours, paddling over Mammoth Spring, Silver Springs Head Spring, the largest spring in Florida. It may not look like it, but the spring is 30 feet deep and is an opening into an extensive cave system. We would have probably had a better view from a glass bottom boat, but it was still neat paddling around and checking it out from our kayak. What a beautiful place and an amazing experience. back in the van after our little kayaking experience grabbed a quick bite to eat and we're back on the road that was a lot of fun um, the springs are beautiful in and of themselves but then being able to see all the wildlife we did being capped off with the monkeys was just spectacular yeah what a fantastic experience especially because we really just didn't think we were gonna see them in that area doing the shorter loop 
but my goodness, what a treat. The uh, neat thing too is that we ran into other people out there who said they've been out like three or four times in the last few days and hadn't seen them at all. So we were pretty lucky, blessed, whatever, to be able to see them our first time out. And oh my goodness, the cutest thing was like the parents with their little babies. There was one mother at one point nursing her little baby and the baby looked up and yawned. I didn't capture it, but oh my goodness, was it adorable. So it was just fantastic. Um, as Steve said earlier, hopefully our footage did it justice. Um, we saw other cool stuff, the, uh, lots of birds and ingas, uh, ducks, turtles, uh, little alligators, the manatees, but we didn't get any footage of the manatees, unfortunately. But we'll probably get them another time. Well, guys, this wraps up our little mini-series of Florida Springs. We're off to see some family now. You'll have to tune in the next time to see what we're up to next. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us and seeing the springs, seeing the footage underwater and above water, and we hope you'll tune in next time. We love hearing from you, so drop us a comment, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.